this is an interesting reading. So, there's somebody you cut communication with quite a quite a bit long time ago. You cut communication with somebody, and they don't know why. They're like, why did they stop filming? Why did they stop filming? I figured that this would continue to go good. I'm in their head right now. They're like, what, what happened? What did I do? It seems like you had third party dynamics going on in your life. You had to figure some stuff out. My life is over here. Yeah. There were some connections that were still lit. And had to be handled before you could light another incense. Before you could go ahead and add another smell and another scent to your room or else it would have been overwhelming. There was some things you had to get in store. All you knew is you had to focus on yourself. You didn't pull away for any specific reason. This person didn't do anything. They were cool. You liked them, you vibed with them. Very attracted to them. So they're wondering what's going on in your world right now. You're a magical source. You have a lot going for you. A lot. And that's something else this person thinks about as well. So like, oh, they have all this stuff going on. Do they have time for a relationship? Do they have time for me? This person could watch you on social media. Yeah, this person is definitely watching you on social media. They think about reaching out to you as well. They're like, maybe I should reach out, but if this person wanted to talk to me, they would type of energy. Somebody's mad hard in their head about you and they want they want to wine and dine you. They want to make you feel special. Yeah. Owls are a big forward movement between you two. Big, big forward movement. See, you've uh, remembered how expressing vulnerability is strength. You've broken through a lot of barriers lately. You're unpacking the past and it looks like, it looks, I feel like you're going to end up wanting to be in a conversation with this person. Hmm. You might actually end up reaching out because this, remember, take what resonates. This reading's resonating. You were the one that cut somebody off. And it was because you had other things going on in your life. And you're like, I can't get this person involved. Or I can't get any person involved. Yeah somebody that you're going to reach out to by the end of this reading take what resonates most of you are going to end up wanting to reach out to this person because it's a good source and you've had some aha moments go off in your head let's see what we got oh yeah somebody definitely is like as soon as you'd reach out to them they would be about you see this person they're, they're not like a shy source. They're not somebody that stares away from something that gives them fury, okay? They're a, they're a masculine-sensed person that doesn't have to do anything with gender. It means in the world, they're persistent. They could be a leader of some sort, so they could be a boss, um, a manager, own their own business, uh, have authority, head of, has uh, head of household, however that resonates. The person, both of you are, both of you are leaders, and neither of you are one to shy away from a challenge. So you made this person bashful. You made this person bashful and feel very sweet, and you kind of like took them off their feet. And it was all going very well. It, it was very, very well. You were keeping communication. Um, they saw you as, and continue to see you as this resilient source, this like realistic knight in shining armor, or a realistic superhero, just like how you always go above and beyond. You put yourself and others at a more utmost importance. You you have a balance about you. You could have some form of a job where you, you speak quite a bit. You're heard, you're a front face of something. So this also can mean you have a social media online profile. Well, duh, you're here, but a uh, social media online presence. This person wants to make the forward movement to you, but they feel very entrapped, very entrapped. They do not like being vulnerable, but at this point, 
they're like, I have to see where this is going to go. What's this hidden truth they want to express? They don't react when people mention you. So they don't talk to many people about you. They stay in their head about this connection. Take what resonates. Some of you, people do know who you are. And they ask how have you been talking to this person or yada yada, how's it going with them? They don't they don't tell people what's going on in your dynamic or how they feel about you. They used to talk about you possibly. But there is this sense there is this sense of you being their freedom, their escape. From what is going on around them it looks like what you're going to be telling them is that you were freeing yourself from malevolent will during this time of separation because i see you wanting to reach out to this person there is growth there is something here they haven't really they haven't given up on you they've continued to stay in a state of gratitude for even having a one two dates part of a relationship however this resonates for you to have your attention at some point they're very they, they very much see how good of a catch you are it looks like what you're going to tell them you were making money moves you had to keep your mind focused on what was going to be the best next step for you you were, did not have your mind focused on love was there romantic connections that were happening around you absolutely there was because this comes with the territory of being you attracting an abundance attracting in new opportunities in more ways than one so you're you were figuring out how to separate work and play life and there were secrets there were things that had to be unraveled in front of you it had nothing to do with them you're going to explain to them that this had nothing to do with them so what's going to happen you two are in front of each other again. So we have Gemini and Sagittarius placement within this dynamic, okay? So this Pluto is rolling this relationship dynamic between you two, your vibe, your energy, your flow, your emotions, the water within you, okay? Um, it, it, there's this sense of fresh, of new face. Not resisting evolution together. This person will like they it's like they will see your name pop up in their phone and it'll be five, four, three, two, one, dizzy, hit them, whoa. All their manifestations. When it comes to love, when it comes to manifesting you back into their life. Hits them by seeing your name pop up. The Gemini, this dynamic, we could have uh, air placement within both of your dynamics, take it as it resonates. But there's also this sense of, you know, like, you're a fast-paced person. You and this, whoever you're going to be with is going to have to honor that you will be going many different places. This could be a job dynamic. This could be your, some form of a traveler. Uh, with, your, with your career, you have to go to many different places. You're on your feet a lot no matter what. This could be some form of you're a very active person. They like this about you. You've been, okay. So you've definitely enhanced your body also since you last seen this person. Your physical appearance and your confidence and your 3D world fruition has all advanced. And this person has like watched you from afar the whole time. Very much rooting you on. Very much okay with, hey, if, wow, they're really at peace with fate. Like, they love you. This is interesting. Even if you weren't together for a long time, even if you only went on a few dates, this person knows that they love you. And when you truly love something, you let it go. And if it finds its way back to you, then it was yours. That's how they feel about you. And they've been watching you expand from afar. This is a cheerleader. This is somebody that's been by your side this whole time. They've had their fear. They had their parasite. But they're like, you know what? I respect this person. I respect them for only communicating with me because it's what they want. Sure, they would not like for it to be out of the blue. They would like for the ingredients to mix and for your cake to continue to flourish and build together. <laughs> but there's a sense of adventure. 
they're like, I don't care if this person would come in and out of my life. All I know is I feel safe and happy when I'm with them. And I don't set expectations. This is a person that honors a lot of self-worth and they don't settle. When things are no longer serving either of you, you, you separate, you go further. So it looks like maybe even during this time of separation, when you were figuring out things you had to figure out, they were actually able to figure out some third party dynamics as well. This could be a relationship. This could be something within self, releasing a parasite. Take what resonates. But it looks like there is expressing vulnerability to a Sagittarius or there is Sagittarius placement within this dynamic. Take what resonates. Needless to say, Sagittarius's are, they fall head ho head over whatever that represents, whatever, you know exactly what I'm trying to say, head over heels in love when they hook their Italians into somebody. So the hawks, owls, big four movements here. They're adventurous and they, and uh, whoever this is sees that you require special, you're, you're a special person to date. You're not mundane. There has to be courage being next to somebody by your side. You hold a lot of strength, a lot of appeal. This person is ready to expand if you are ready to expand. It looks like this healthy boundary that's been set has almost made a perfect combination for the very beginning of your dynamic to see that you can trust each other. That you won't lie, you won't bring each other into bullshit, that you're your own healthy partner, that you both have really grown. What else we got? The energy you're sending this person is going with the flow. They're grateful for, they're, and they're sending you the energy of being grateful to be in your life in any form. The energy they're sending you is that they still want this, that this can be a success, that they're willing to work for this. The energy that you're sending them with this is with this download. You've changed something in your life. You've completely let go of something that no longer serves. So this could have been a job that no longer served, a person that no longer served, a mindset, however it resonates, take it. And they can feel that. They can feel that you've let go of something and your attention has kind of centered back a little bit more on them. They can feel it. They're trusting this. They're trusting their higher selves. And both of you have changed your perspective on what it means to like really have balance, give and take. What it means to really not have to feel like a person's making you put yourself down to keep a dynamic going with them. To be a person who speaks and honors their word and leads by example. You guys have spoken in the dream realm. Maybe you haven't felt this, but you're going to feel this probably tonight. Tonight or tomorrow, you're going to have a dream with them. You're saying them the energy of, even though there was a pause on our 3D world connection, the internal, the ether, the spiritual realm, that continued and you didn't know it because what is aligned for you is aligned for you. So spirit is guiding you to reach out, to honor your persistency, to not give up on love, to not give up on what's meant for you because you have an attraction to this person. They're a good part of your life. You separated because you had things to figure out with yourself. And now you've been in a state of mind like, hey, will this person want me back in their life? How they feel? Yaddy, yaddy. Yeah, they definitely, definitely do. So if you want this, go get with yours. All right? All right. Let's get it.